this was the first house built in the area. It was built back in 1903, so this house is over 100 years old. And it was built by Henry Overholzer, who arrived here back in 1889 from Ohio. He was already a very wealthy, successful businessman. Uh, he made his money up north in mercantiles, real estate in Indiana and Ohio. He owned prefab building companies up in Michigan and Wisconsin. And what brings him here is our land runs. We had like seven land runs. So Henry Overholzer packs up train car loads full of building supplies, lumber, and prefabs. And immediately when he gets here, he is in business. And he begins building, you know, several buildings here in Oklahoma City, the Grand Avenue Hotel, the first federal courthouse. Um, he was a major investor in a streetcar system the first time. Uh, we, he also started the um, State Fair of Oklahoma later on, but he was county commissioner, he ran for mayor, and for those reasons and many more, he's known as Father of Oklahoma City. He builds his 12,000 square foot home in 1903 for his wife, Miss Anna Ione Murphy Overholzer. Her family arrived from Harrison, Arkansas back in 1889. She and Henry Overholzer marry in October of that same year, and together they're considered civic and social leaders. So this house, once it was built way out in the outskirts of Oklahoma City, becomes the social hub of Oklahoma City, because they were known not only for their lavish lifestyle, but lavish parties. They loved to entertain often. Someone would come into the Overholzer Mansion right away, you'd be transported 100 years back in time. Um, you'll see the furniture pretty much still in the same spot as when the Overholzer family lived here. Um, they will see Henry I owns baby things. Her report cards are still here. Mrs. Overholzer's piano is still here in the same spot as it's been ever since 1916. We always call it frozen in time. It's really pretty much an Oklahoma City time capsule once you get in here. There are 109 windows in the house, six bedrooms, 19 closets, um, seven fireplaces. The stenciling on this ceiling in the dining room is actually copied from her Limoges china. One of my favorite things about this place is sort of the rarity of how authentic it is. You don't see that anywhere else. Um, and so it's so neat to, to really step back in time um, just as soon as you enter the door of the Overholster Mansion. Everything is beautiful. There's so much attention to detail from the Overholster family. All the family names that you see, like for instance, street names, Classen, you know, Hefner, Gaylord, all those families were entertained in this house at one time or another. Most of them are the ones that built these beautiful homes here in Heritage Hills. It is a rarity to have such an almost complete collection um, just in the United States, let alone here we have it in Oklahoma City and it just steps away from our downtown um, area which all of our tourism is thriving and you're just down the street. So yeah, why not if you can see a 95 to 98% original mansion, might as well take advantage of it.